Myrna Bookbottom, librarian, cat lady, extremely polite. Hello. I am very pleased to meet you, Governor. Now, what is a nice young woman like you doing in this race, Myrna? Well, you see, I have always wanted a life of adventure. But I work in the local library, and things just never seem to happen there. Until Margaret Basher came along. Margaret Basher? She is my alter ego. When I get angry, I turn into Margaret. And bad things happen. But you seem so sweet and helpless. And boring. Boringly helpless. Helpless, I. The moral is, you can't judge a book bottom by its cover. <laughs> Godspeed, Myrna Bookbottom. And Margaret Back. Upon my return to England, I'm going to report Andre Latoilet to the Humane Society. It is dreadful how he's been treating this poor little ape man. Put on my property immediately, femme d'Angleterre. Well, if you ask politely, perhaps I shall. Wow, fucking tree hugger. Just try and stop me. Hello, Madame Bookbottom. Yes? Who is that? It is I, André La Toilette. Oi! It's a squirrel sucking tree yoga. I wanted to apologize for yelling at you earlier. I get sensitive with matters concerning my big food. Oh, that's quite sweet of you, love. Yeah, real sweet. Now, bugger off! Excusez-moi? Call me. Because on second thought, don't you toss her. What? Ah, English women. They are so complicated. Come out! Can you hear me through this dang burial fun? We're a few our armpits and cactus roses good and We sure could use some air support. How about it? I would be honored to. I do admire your American Western adventure novel so. And I like to bash bandits! Librarian Cartwell is with overdue books. Is it laziness or desperate cry for help? Details inside. Also, an update on Fly and Librarian Men at Bookbottom, who is about to begin the next leg of the Freaky Flyers race in Chicago. For more information about Chicago, see North American Reference, comma, Chicago in the card catalog. If I ever get me hands on those blokes, I'll crush their crumpets. Although, it is kind of cute for a mime. I quite fancy the little chubby one. <laughs> Pilot X's delicious alien technology will allow me to shrink all the freaky flyers and insert them into a human body. They'll never be able to escape and the race will be won only by me. What do you think about that, Schwein 209? Well, should have called him Schwein 209. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, yeah. After many high-level talks, it has been agreed that the industry standard shush for a loud library visitor will be 2.5 seconds. Anything longer is frowned upon as it only adds to the noise problem. We also catch up with Men of Bookbottom, who's fresh off a nose goblin killing spree and is now set for the next stage of the Freaky Flyers race in Danger Island. Hold on! Violent yet somehow very attractive Earth creature! I have a proposal for you! How 
Silver, I propose to demolish you and your spacecraft. Aren't you tired of that wimpy Myrna book bottom? Wouldn't you like to take control to be Margaret Thatcher forever? I'm listening. Then I'll make you a deal. I'll make sure you never have to be Myrna again if you help me win the race. What may I do for you, sir? How would you like to make a deal? If you liked Professor Gutenberg's last evil plan, then you're gonna love this! It's Torpedo Run! A deadly stretch over the ocean complete with gloom, submarines, and of course, killer monkeys! Monkeys! monkeys. Torpedo Run, another evil product from Gutentag Industries. Side effects may include crashes, injury, screaming like a little squirrel girl, upset stomach, and most certainly death. Emily Stokes Trent, a librarian from Newbury on Tyne, tells the Dewey Decimal Digest that library hours have been extended there in recent years to accommodate slower readers. Also, we check in on Myrna Bookbottom, who is now in the Figgy Fires finals in Germany. Bonjour, messieurs! I baked you a cake, you attractive little French street performer. Oh, my! Somebody's going to pay for this! And I know just who. So much excitement. A good spot of tea is just what I need. Aha! Murder book bottle! Just as I planned! You're the winner of the Freaky Flyers competition! The weakest, most timid aviator in the game! You'll have no chance against me! Well, I shall do my very best. At least I will not have to turn into that dreadful Margaret Basher again. Oh, well, actually you will! Because I have no idea how to do anything about that! What? Why, you... you lied to me! <laughs> Is this women's lib? Because if it is, I don't like it. Your Majesty, Myrna Bookbot. Myrna Bookbottom, you are hereby awarded the highest medal of the British Empire. Wedding bells are ringing. The librarian social event of the year, well, really the only librarian social event of the year, okay, ever, was the marriage of Myrna Bookbottom and Margaret Basher to their respective Marcel Marceau brother. Well, when asked what attracted her to her husband, Myrna answered, he's very quiet. Sounds like true love indeed. 